Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're, we are going to do a video that has been trending on YouTube and you guys have probably seen about 20 other videos on this, but I wanted to test it out for myself because it just looked so cute and fun. So today we are going to be testing out the little mini beauty blender washing machine. This thing is so freaking adorable. It just runs off of two AA batteries. So I actually love the like concept of this. I love the concept of basically putting water and soap in this little washing machine, turning it on and it cleaning your beauty blender. I have a feeling that it's probably not gonna work out that well, but let's be optimistic here. This would be an amazing thing to just put in, turn on, and then walk away and do something else. So I'm hopeful, <laughs> um, but we will, but we will see. I did end up purchasing this off of a website. Um, I. <laughs> I was kind of gullible. I just kind of clicked on the first website that I saw and I purchased it for $12.99. You can, however, get this off of Amazon and eBay for like a couple of dollars, like three or four dollars. Um, so don't just do what I did and pick it up off of the first website that you find. Shop around a little bit and see what kind of a good deal that you can get on this. I had to wait a minute to get this. This, I I think I waited about a month and a half to receive this. Um, the shipping, the shipping status always just said that it was still in China. And then one day it just showed up on my doorstep and the shipping still said that it was in China. So there's that to deal with as well um but it did finally arrive at my doorstep which i am so thankful for so let's go ahead and jump into this video and see how well it cleans our beauty blenders okay so the first thing that i am going to do is put some water in here so i'm just going to pour a little bit in here i'm going to try to get up close so that you guys can see I'm gonna start off with about that much water. And now I'm going to put some of my Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioner Cleanser. This is just what I have laying around, so. I'm just going to squirt a little bit in here. All right, and I'm going to kind of be doing this on my phone as well, just so that you guys can kind of see with me what is happening. So this is what we are looking like right now, and then I'm going to turn it on here just to kind of get the soap mixed up in there. Okay, it looks like a little, uh, little frothiness is happening, okay. Right now, I think I'm going to just start off with a dry beauty blender here. Just going to plop it in and shut the lid. Oh yeah, look at that. There she goes. This is actually turning out better than I thought it was going to. Okay, you go girl. Okay, so I had it going for a good couple of minutes there. So I think I'm going to just just going to take it out really quick and give it a good ring. Oh man. 
Okay, it feels like it really soaked up a lot of soap and this is what it's looking like so far. Um, it did have a lot of product in it and this thing has like a little drain as well. So we'll see, ah! <laughs> which it does actually work. This is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. So I think I'm just going to put just water in it right now because that beauty sponge did get a lot of soap inside of it. So I'm just going to kind of do like a really quick rinse of it. Oh. Okay, it's it's kind of straining a little bit here. Let me let me show you. Yeah, you see, like as the sponge is holding water, it's kind of straining a little bit. Oh, and our uh, <laughs> our drain is uh, bubbling over, so that's great. But she's still going. She's she's going here. Let me try to get this bottom side because it still has quite a bit of... Okay. It doesn't do as well if you put the tip of it up. Okay. I think since it's just ran off of batteries, it doesn't have like a lot of power behind it, so it's kind of lagging a little bit, but I mean it's still turning in there, it's still doing something. Okay, let's take it out really quick and just wring it out. too terrible. It looks cleaner than it was. It still has a, a good bit of foundation in the tip of it, but I mean, it's still, it got most of it out. Um, let's try a different one. Let's try this Flower Beauty one. This one is just, it's really, really dirty. So let's try this one really quick. All right, here we go. We're gonna put this dirty one in here. Oh, oh. Try and flip it over so that the point side is down just so that it can get really clean. Oh, there we go. There we go. So for the sponges that have like the point tip, which most sponges do, um, you kind of have to have it down and then it really starts to go. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. It is just bubbling like crazy now. All right. Now we're going to stop it really quick and take it out here. Okay, it got, it got actually quite a bit of it out. That's actually, it's just kind of con concentrated like right here in this spot, but 
that actually did work quite a bit. Um, let me go ahead and step this out really quick. Oh man, that actually did get a lot out. Oh no, but it looks like it is starting to leak at the bottom a little bit, uh, which I'm kind of concerned about because, okay, that's where the batteries are at right down there. So I don't know what that means, but oh, a lot of water did leak out though. Okay, so I'm just going to put just water in here just to see if we can get some of the soap out again. Or maybe, maybe the water is just kind of flying out of the top of it. Maybe that's what ha what's happening. I don't know what's happening. It's leaking somewhere. It's kind of messy. For me, it still has a lot of foundation in it, no matter what I do. Um, all in all, it does look better. Um, I think that this is good for just like a spot cleaning thing, um, but would I, I mean, I can get it better. I can get this sponge better cleaned with um, just like a bar of soap and washing it in the sink. So, but this thing is so freaking cute though. Right, and this is what our water is looking like. It is looking pretty, pretty nasty. So, it got, it did something. It cleaned it a little bit. Okay, and now I really want to put this velour puff thing in the, in this washing machine just to see. Like I have, I've watched a couple of videos on this. And um, I haven't seen anybody put one of these on there yet, so we're going to try it. Just because I never know how to clean these things, and this one is getting a little bit gross. Okay, and here we go. We're just going to pop that right in there. Okay, and it's not doing anything. Um, okay, there we go, there we go. It's starting to. Okay, so the velour puff doesn't really work in there. That's what we've we've discovered. Um, I mean, I guess it did get a little bit clean though, but it just didn't really agitate in there. But okay, I mean, it wasn't a complete fail. I guess it it's a little bit better. And now I really want to test out and see how well it cleans little eyeshadow brushes. I feel like this might be good for that. Just like placing it in there and then it just like spins the brushes and cleans them. So we're going to try that really quickly. Okay, so I got my soap and water in here and here is this really, really dirty brush. So we're going to turn it on and put it in there. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, it it got actually um pretty clean actually. That's not bad. Like it it's cleaner than what it was. It, there's still a little bit of product on it, but let me see if we can get it all the way clean. better than I thought it was going to be. Okay guys, so this has been my review of the the beauty sponge washing machine. Would I use it to cleanse my beauty blenders? No, probably not because they still do have a lot of product left in them, so they do need a good thorough cleaning yet again. Um, but was this really fun to do? Yes, this was so, so fun to do. I don't think I've had more fun filming a video in a while. This thing is just so freaking cute. I mean, come on. Um, this actually would be really cool to clean your eyeshadow brushes with. I really did get um, most of the product out of the brushes. This would be a really cute thing to just like spot clean your brushes with. All in all, if you can pick it up for like a couple of bucks, I would definitely try it out. It's one of those things that everybody I think needs to try it out just to try it. But yeah guys, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!